Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you very much for checking out this video. In this video I'll be talking about the FMA, the uh, Flight Mode Annunciator. The FMA is divided into five columns and uh, three lines. In the first column you can see the auto thrust modes. In the second column you can see the vertical modes. The third column shows all lateral modes. In the fourth column you have the approach capabilities. And in the fifth column you can see the engagement status of the autopilot, flight director and the auto thrust. In the first line of the FMA you can see all the active modes indicated in green. The second line shows armed modes in uh, blue. Now remember that the fourth column only shows the approach capability and the minimum that you've uh, dialed in. In the third line of the fifth column you can see the status of the auto thrust system. White means active and cyan means armed. After a mode change the new active mode has a white box around it. This box will disappear after 10 seconds. Okay, so let's see the FMA in action. So here we are, ready to fly the approach into Hamburg runway 23. So the active modes are speed, altitude and heading with the armed modes, glide slope and uh, localizer. You can also see that the autopilot 1 and 2 are engaged and we have a cut 3 dual capability. Okay, approaching localizer, there you have the localizer star indication showing that the autopilot is now intercepting the localizer. Once completely captured, the star will disappear. There you go, and now we're just waiting for the armed glide stop mode to change to the active vertical mode. Okay, so the armed glide stop mode has changed to the active mode. You can see it's uh, boxed in white again and once fully captured the star will disappear here as well. So now I'm just uh, configuring the aircraft uh, completely with the gear down and uh, flaps coming to full. Approaching a thousand feet AGL, and you can see all the modes have uh, remained the same. One thousand. So up to now we've talked about armed modes and active modes, and uh, there actually is one more mode, and that is called the common mode. Since we are doing a uh, fully automated uh, approach and landing. At about 400 feet AGL you will see a common mode called land. So the active glide slope and uh, localizer mode will be replaced by the uh, land mode. The land mode uh, just means 500. that the uh, localizer and glide slope are locked. There you go. And as you can see, land didn't appear in blue. 300. Uh, it didn't uh, appear as armed. It just uh, went straight active. The same will happen in a few moments at about 50 feet AGL 200. with the uh, flare mode. And then later on also with the rollout mode. 100. 
50, 40, 30, there have flare. 20, 10, retard, 5, retard. And roll out. So we've uh, managed to land in Hamburg successfully. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you want to help me, then uh, please leave a like. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.